Hi, this is Gary Naxted, and take a look over here. This is our new little grill. You see how thick this steel is up here? Look at the steel on the top. And there's rivets inside there, and those rivets happen to hold the grates up, too. But uh, I've got a chimney full of charcoal here, you see. And I'm just going to take this chimney full of charcoal and put it in this grill. It's never been used before. And is this a little rake? Yep. This is a little rake that I use. I'm just going to evenly spread the charcoal here. And see, I'm not using a lot. Okay. And then these are our grates. Oh, this way. They're heavy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how did I design it? This way. That's one. And two grates on there. And uh, I've never cooked on this before. So. I'm going to first cook, these are kebabs, this is Kazakh's idea of, you want to bring the salt and pepper out when you get a chance, Kazakh, not in a hurry. I'm just going to put a little oil on these. This is uh, what, peppers, onions? Peppers, onions, trumpet mushrooms, and then I'm going to just put a little oil here, you see? Mm -hmm. The very first time this grill has been used, and I'm just oiling the grates a little bit. And now, first thing I'm going to do is put these little oiled kebabs on here. Look at that. Beautiful. Two. Three, mm -hmm. four, and then I bet you I can put the steaks on there too. Mm -hmm. Which will take longer to cook. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. There's a steak. Mm -hmm. Second steak. Classic. Put this in and Third back a steak. And then you know what? Yeah, because this can come Look at that. further this way too. I have enough. You got enough? Steak number four. So that means you put on four steaks. And four kebabs. And four kebabs in this little grill. Yeah. Isn't that cute? So there we have it. And I hear sizzle. A little bit. See the little smoke coming, wisps of smoke coming up off of the kebabs? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> my son has never made kebabs before. So this is carrot, pepper, onion, mushroom, king, king. King trumpet mushroom or king you know the big big mushrooms and he's got them alternating here and then um, I put a little oil on the I just put a little oil on them So, Isn't that should, cool? do you want me to end this while this cooks and then we bring another one on? No, just we'll watch it a little bit. So what I'm watching for here is I'm going to wait. These are New York strips, choice New York strips. See the marbling in them? And basically, I'm going to cook them on this side until it starts bleeding up on top here, which they are a little bit now. 
but I'm going to let this, when it's bleeding on top, I'll flip these and then these will have to be turned about four times. But I can already see that these are getting heat because you see the, see mm -hmm. the, it's becoming oh, wet yeah. there and there. Yep. But I'm going to try to turn them. You're if I do out. this right, okay. I'll turn mm -hmm. them once. Is that counting? Yeah. So this is yeah, working. Five. Okay. So see here? Mm-hmm. I see that. What I'm trying to do here is turn my stakes once so that I get them perfectly done. And you notice how little charcoal I'm using? You just filled one of those. I filled the well, we only had three quarters of a chimney worth of charcoal here, and that's all I had. And I think that's fine. Because I'm putting my hand here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can hear it sizzle. Yep. Now, once we take the kebabs off. Ah, I now I can smell it too. You starting to smell things? Oh, yeah. There you go. So, look at here how you see the moist, the, you see here how it's getting mm -hmm. wet on the top here? Mm -hmm. So, we're going to let that go until it gets kind of really wet on the top of these and then flip them once. There's rivets all the way around this. Yeah. And a little famous bear logo. Yep. Of course, we are not using the Uruguayan right now, <laughs> which is our most used. That's our most used grill. This grill is about eight years old. Yep. Well used. This is our newest little grill, and we're just trying it out. I'm, I actually am going to scale this up to a 60 by 30 mm -hmm. or so with this kind of a thing and these mm -hmm. pipes for handles. Taller legs. And then we'll put actually long legs on it and casters. But you see, you know, that's <laughs> it's warm here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <coughs> That's why we have it on look our up, fire table. Look up here. At, see how wet that steak is on top? And they should place this on a fire table. Yeah. 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 Or, or on the ground. On the ground. Um, Some on a granite that... countertop. Yep. Where else? Oh. I don't know. Just lay some bricks down on anything and then lay it down on it or lay it on the ground. Take it camping with you. Mm -hmm. See this one? Yep. Look how... Not ready yet. Turn those. Turn those? Mm -hmm. I think this might be the easiest way to turn them. Oh, yeah. Look how easy that is. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Flip of the wrist. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Nice. I'm just curious. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, nice. I'm leaving it alone for a little bit. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm. I think that uh, a lot of times the number one reason uh, you get poor results with cooking over a fire is too much fire. Impatience. Impatience. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's too bad you don't have a beer or something else to. I Imagine. brought my own. That, I brought my own groupie out here. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Mm -hmm. Not the Argentine way. And your barbecue. Glass of wine. I just brought my own groupie with me. Is that what you do? Yeah, I just brought my own groupie. Oh, look at that! See. These are getting yep. 
I didn't put enough. Actually, I did put enough. You did. <laughs> <laughs> That's hot. It's cooking, which is nice to know. You don't need to have a lot. No. This is good when you just want to have a small barbecue. Yep. We're a family See, of four, so. You put your hand here and here, and I can lift this up. Can you do that again after I do this? <laughs> So these didn't, these are not hot. That's no, these nice. are not hot here. And right here, oh, that's hot. That's hot. Ouch. Don't do that. That's not good. That, that, that's hot. Mm. What do you think? I think I should go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look at that. This one. Take and move that one to the center. Okay. So let's take this one and lay it on top of here. Let's take this one it's a little bit bigger. and put it here. Let's take this one, move it here. Mm -hmm. And then take this one and put it down this way. Mm -hmm. And whoops. Oh, this is... There we go. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. I'm really going to like this girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You should do the same thing with this little one here. And mm -hmm. do it. Yeah, but look at it, it's, it's got little pieces of brown on it. Now, we have mm -hmm. a griddle, too. See? Mm -hmm. And my guys rounded the edges off, but the next time I build this, I will put little fillets on the, the four corners of both grates. Mm -hmm. So we have a griddle that will take up half of this space. Yeah. So you can do some pancakes if you're camping. Eggs and for on top of your mm -hmm. steaks. Do we want to do eggs on top of no, our steaks? No, no, you don't need that. <laughs> Are you trying to restrict my eating again? Yes. <sighs> I, I've asked different people, different nationalities. I said, for instance, I've asked an Indian fella, tell me the truth. Do Indian wives let their husbands eat as much ghee as they want? And the answer is always no. So this restricting of a diet for men goes across all nationalities that I've seen.
Now, if we had filled this up, we'd be done by now. No, you don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. But I don't think we really want to. This would give it a nice flavor. Now, if we um, could, we could roast marshmallows on this. Yes, but see, look, I think that's enough. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to just these. There's not much more to see here. We're going to. Um, let our steaks finish browning on the other side. If I actually look here, they're done now according to Kazakh, but um, I'm gonna let them go a little bit longer. These are choice steaks and normally I cut them an inch thick or an inch and a half. And this time I've cut them like what, three eighths or a half inch thick mm -hmm. for minute steaks. Yeah. And I think I like them both. I'm an equal opportunity eater. So with that, we're going to do these until they're brown and much browner than this. So we're going to bore you and it looks like we've done 15 minutes, 16 minutes here. So enough. We'll, we're going to leave. Bye now.